you back here, <laughs> back with another bit of gameplay. This is the second to last one. Just, uh, they're getting a, a bit longer. The last two clips that I did were a bit longer, so that's good. A bit more to show you, a bit more in between your bits as well. You can see the ones that have the blue little tabs on here. They're related to the emotion from what I can see. And there's heaps and heaps of interactions and um, also when I was gardening uh, that bit will I think that bit will come up it'll show you how many um, stacked things you can have before it tells you that it's full um, it was quite a few actually and a lot of them because they can multitask you can do a lot more so the little boy here is very yeah, happy on the computer you can actually play Sims 1 in there so these are about to <laughs> Um, even though she's pregnant, she mm. is feeling quite flirty. So, uh, she, yeah, she's going to work in an hour as well. I was quite disappointed by the work yeah. animation that they don't get in the car. I was pretty sure that last year at Sims Camp they said that they were going to be actually getting into the car and you would see them <laughs> open the door. I might be wrong. It's probably in my video somewhere from last year where I said it. But, as, you know, things changed, it was really early on in the second ah. I don't know if they'll be able to bring that in in the future, I don't know. But, they're cows like are in the game, but they're not usable. I don't even know if you can buy them, to be honest. So, no. so she's very flirty now. Extremely flirty. Aha. Look at that face. Oh. And all the icons down there in the squares, they Lyra. line up as Feminine well. So, and they're different colours for different things. And red is always bad. Always. So he's a freelance writer. I eventually, on my own game, because this was on a different PC um, to the ones we were actually using to play, this was on a recording one, so this is like a fresh game. But I played with the Sim household. Oh, and he, he's writing a, an excuse note for school. You can also write them for work for someone because he's a writer as well. He's going to be really good at that and it helps him level up his skill. Um, so, yeah, what was I saying? Can't remember. Gone. Gone forever. Sorry. You'll have to remind me in the comments. So, Cassandra starts school in an hour, but he is, um, I'm trying to send her to the toilet, but she's going to work, so that's not going to happen. She, he, um, he's writing an excuse note for Cassandra, so if he gets it done in time, she may not have to go to school. So let's have a look and see if that works. And uh, she's going to work, so she's just going to disappear there. A bit disappointing. I also found the first time we played this, I hired a maid, and the maid just kind of stood at the end of the street for a few hours, then took my money and left. I think that was a bit of a, a glitch, because the software that we're using it isn't the final build and they're also making like improvements off the things that we've been saying at these preview events so that's really good you know like but it just kind of you just have to make sure that you're quite vocal about what you want and what you don't want so that they know what to put in and take out so the little boy is going to the fridge right now and he is uh, getting himself some food. He's so cute. I love the walks. They're so dynamic and telling of their personality. It makes me look at the real world a lot more differently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at their walk outside. So weird. Yeah, so she's coming to sit with it. Well, no, sorry, she's cleaning up. And again, she just kind of grabs the plates. I don't like that. I'd rather they just they pick them up. But... I know that uh -huh. certain things limit them and everything else and I can kind of think of the, the thought process. He's having a wee which is nice, all the way down his dressing gown because he hadn't lifted it up. Lovely. And Cassandra's still picking up plates outside. Don't know, I don't ever remember them eating outside but she seems to have the sun out there. He's washing his hands which is good and Alexandra's off to school. So like I said, you can just click that ah. hunger icon there and then send them and they will cook something because they're hungry. I love that. It's so much better than having to sort of scroll to the oven and click that, you know, that was such a pain. 
clicking that to go up to the next floor, that's another thing where you can sit there and think, where, how do I do it, how do I do it? And it's actually really simple, you just gotta take a step back and think, right, you know, this is completely new, it's not the same studio, it's new. There's a crib here, different colour options there, and some of the other items, the things that are so real in, in build mode, don't they? And the music's really cool, I know a lot of you are liking the music. I was thinking where to place it, I didn't want to block up too much space because obviously they need room to stand over the crib but I did want it to be in the bedroom because I know in The Sims 3 it was always good to have it in the bedroom because it would wake up your Sims and it would attempt the baby rather than just crying into nothingness. So that's, let's go back to live mode, click that button up there, so much easier, so quick. And there's my crib. Oh, bassinet or whatever it's called. So Mortimer's cooking right now. I don't know what happens but you can when you Sims pregnant, you can send them off to hospital or you can have the baby at home. And if you have it at home and you place a crib they'll go up to the crib and have the baby over the crib. But um I don't know what happens if you don't have a crib. Like if it tells you to purchase one or if the baby just appears, I have no idea. So he's just made some food and he's in level two. I found it really easy to get the skills up. I got to I was only playing for like on here what about nice 25 guy. minutes and I managed to get to level two in um cooking and musical instruments um and charisma I think with different sims. Mortimer's going to work now and oh that's what I was saying before. Mortimer I switched to being an astronaut and the astronaut career because I heard that that's how you get a cow plant and it's the easiest way because it's one of the promotion rewards apparently. I'm not sure. So she is on the computer <laughs> right now. I'm not sure what she's doing but we're going to order <laughs> some seeds because no I want to get some seeds for Mortimer to plant because I want him to be a gardener so I can get the cow plant. Never happened but this is what I was trying to do. So this is how you purchase the seeds or one of the ways you can purchase the seeds and the easiest way. You get that computer and you order them and they just appear in your inventory. Someone asked about that but yeah, you they just appear in your inventory. They don't get delivered to your mailbox or anything like that but they'll be in her inventory. She's feeling energised so she just drops the floor and does some sit-ups as you do. Um, so if we go into our inventory now, we can uh, take those out. The I wanted to hit bump someone, but I never got to do it. I wish I'd done that because that would have been a fun little video. Walks There's breath. the fruits there. I can open the packet or I can just plop it on the floor so I can put it into Mortimer's inventory. That's what I'm going to do because I don't want her to garden really. <sighs> She's thinking about money on the uh, computer there. She's on the sims.com, I think. So, she obviously has a day off now because Mortimer wrote her that excuse note so she's not at school. So that's really cool and there's no consequence to that. She's fine, so if she needed to do her homework and hadn't done it, you could get the other sim to do that and obviously that helps them with their writing skills. So it's a good way of creating some time and having a skill bump as well. And she is now <laughs> going into the fridge. I love that, how the Mudo. actual item is there for you to see. <laughs> that cool. And then she can grab it. Our sim guru Rachel was telling me that she played this and she saw the sim like go like that with the liquid like she just did. And she thought it was so cool because she does that with her drink. And I just, I don't think I would have noticed that. Things that, that are so fine that make you think, wow, this game's awesome, but you don't quite know what they are, and that is one of them. Just the fact that she just stands there with the drink, swishes it around, and then drinks it. It's so cool. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!